What separates Mario Kart from other racing video games is its creativity. I mean, in what other racing game can you drive through a pinball machine, shoot turtle shells at other racers, or drive as a pink gold version of a person? Well, I guess that part isn't very creative. Anyway, Mario Kart's courses are really what show off how creative Mario Kart's game design can be, and some of these courses rise above the rest. In this video, I'm going to count down the 10 most creative tracks in the entire Mario Kart series. My rankings will be based on how interesting the visuals of the course are, and how unique the course design is. All of these courses are some of the best Mario Kart has to offer, but they aren't necessarily my 10 favorite in the series, because courses like Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road can be great, but I wouldn't consider them very creative. With that out of the way, let's get started with number 10. Starting off my list, I have one of my favorite Mario Kart 64 tracks, and the only Mario Kart 64 track on this list, Yoshi Valley. The main reason this course made it on the list, as you can probably guess, is how many different paths there are. The main part of the course is essentially a maze with about 8 different possible paths, each with upsides and downsides. Some are easy to drive but take longer, and some are risky but can bring you straight up to first place if you don't fall off the edge. I think the Mario Kart 64 version is harder than the Mario Kart 8 remake, which actually makes the course a bit more interesting for me, because I actually change up which direction I go on, because the fastest route can be pretty hard to drive. The reason this course isn't higher is because the visuals and theme aren't particularly interesting, it's mainly the course route itself that makes Yoshi Valley creative. Big Blue is one of two F-Zero theme tracks in Mario Kart 8, and in my opinion is by far the best. This course is designed into three sections, the second of which, the water slide section, is my favorite. Anyway, the visuals of this course are amazing the whole way through, and the course is fun and fast paced due to the boosts and conveyor belts throughout the course. I love how much effort was put into making the course look great while also being fun and interesting, which is why it earned its spot on this list. What if mushrooms were really big? Well, Mushroom Gorge from Mario Kart Wii answers that question, and apparently the answer is, the mushrooms turn into giant trampolines. Mushroom Gorge is really what Mario Kart tracks are all about, racing with a Mario-themed and unique twist. This course is relatively short, but filled with mushrooms you can either drive on top of or bounce on. This element is what makes Mushroom Gorge so memorable, and why I believe it is one of the most creative Mario Kart tracks ever made. Electrodrome is a pretty weird Mario Kart track when you think about it, and is really set apart from other tracks in Mario Kart 8. The course is notable for its music, which is some of the best in the series, and for its dance-themed design. The design throughout the course is what makes it so unique, and like Big Blue, feels very fast-paced. The music fits the atmosphere perfectly and, in my opinion, is just as important for making this course great as the course design itself is. Here we have another Mario Kart course that is really connected to music. This time, the course itself is music-related, and is filled with musical instruments you can drive on and around. When you drive on the pianos that make up part of the track, the musical notes are actually played in the game, which is pretty cool, and later on in the track there are giant music notes that can crush you. Although it's not one of my absolute favorites, this is by far the most unique course in Mario Kart 7 in my opinion, just based on how weird yet great the course design is. You probably knew this course was coming. Waluigi Pinball is one of the most famous Mario Kart tracks there is, and it's no wonder why. You literally drive through a pinball machine. The final part of the track is really what sets it apart, as you drive through a wide area with bumpers and giant pinballs, which makes you feel like you're in a game of pinball. The music is also great, it actually appears in both Waluigi Pinball and Wario Stadium, but is mainly associated with Waluigi Pinball, probably because of how well it fits the track. Waluigi Pinball is an iconic, creative, and amazing Mario Kart DS track. What's more creative than driving through a pinball machine? Driving through a clock, of course. TikTok Clock is based on the Super Mario 64 course of the same name, and has you driving on top of clocks with moving hands, giant gears, and avoiding pendulums. What I think makes this better than Waluigi Pinball is how the whole course feels like you're inside a clock, while Waluigi Pinball has some sections that feel like driving on a normal racing track. TikTok Clock is another track with a very creative design that is also super fun to play on. Ribbon Road originally appeared in Mario Kart Super Circuit, but the reason it's on this list is definitely because of the Mario Kart 8 remake. The original course was one of the better Super Circuit tracks, but was held back by the Game Boy Advance's limitations. In Mario Kart 8, it's been completely redone and feels like a new course. 
The premise of the course is that you are driving through a kid's bedroom, and the course itself is a giant playset. The visuals are very well done, and so is the course design. There are sections with giant wind-up toys, shortcuts across toy blocks, a giant glider section, and tons of cool decorations throughout. Ribbon Road is one of my go-to Mario Kart 8 tracks, and is highly deserving of being on this list. Mount Wario is my favorite Mario Kart 8 track, and if I did a ranking of every Mario Kart track, it would probably end up on top. In my opinion, it's the perfect Mario Kart track, and one of the most creative tracks as well. Like Big Blue, it is made up of three different sections. The first section has you driving down an icy slope, the second has you driving through a cave, a dam, and a forest, and the third has you driving down a ski slope to a big glider section. What makes this course so creative is how different the sections of the course are. The dam section is much different from the ski slope, for example. All of the sections are very well designed, and it feels like a lot of effort was put into making this course as great as it can be. However, there is one course, in my opinion, that beats even this one when it comes to creativity. And at number one, of course, we have Mario Kart Wii's most iconic course, Coconut Mall. Coconut Mall is based on real-world locations, but still really feels like a Mario Kart track. The mall interior takes you through stores, on escalators, onto different levels, and culminates in a giant jump onto the parking lot area. Here, there are annoying cars that move back and forth and can hit you, and if you can pull it off, there is a glitch that takes you out of bounds and could give you some really fast lap times. It was an amazing and creative idea to have a Mario Kart track based on a shopping mall, and Coconut Mall executed it very well. And of course, there's the music, which may even be more famous than Waluigi Pinball's music. The music has one more perfect thing about this course, which I believe is the most creative Mario Kart track ever made. It was a lot of fun to put together this list, because all of these courses have interesting things to talk about, and each one has its own elements that make it great. Do you agree with my choices? Let me know in the comments, as I am interested if you guys think there are more creative tracks I may have missed, or if some of my tracks on my list don't deserve to be on it. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I'll see you in my next video or livestream. Bye!